two weeks later, um, I got a call from my agent, and he was like, guess what? And I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, you booked it. I screamed. I screamed, and I ran around my house, and I was like, oh, Welcome back to It Takes a Universe. I'm Ashley, and we have Jamila C. Gray. Hi. <laughs> so, you guys can catch her on Pyramid Plus. Yes. On the comma. What? Insert trailer here. March to the own beat of my drum. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Bree. That's me. Bang, bang. Who's that fit in these ominous birds? In this fairy tale, my father was once a king. Now I'm chasing his dream. The greatest rapper Garden Heights had ever seen. Hey, yo, I'll battle anybody right now. Who won it? I take it. Morning, baby. Mom got clean three years ago, doing her best not to let it show. What? Uh, no, better kill. Ring legend in the making. You know people would kill for a spot like this? I'm Pooh's my manager. You heard about infamous Mills? Seven figures straight up front. You win this battle? Sky's the limit, baby girl. So, Jamila. When did you start acting and why acting? Um, well, I started acting my seventh grade year <laughs> of middle school. Not Young too bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, not professionally. I was a theater kid. Uh -huh. I did my first musical. I did Beauty and the Beast. Oh, and she can sing? I did it. Oh, did you? Oh, we can hold a note. <laughs> you know, I'm decent. <laughs> we can hold a note. But, um, yeah, I started off there. Um, and then once I graduated high school, um, I had created a short film for my thesis, my high school thesis or whatever. And then um, I was like, yeah, I can do this. Like, you can do this. this is really enjoyable. I have a lot of community in this. I have a lot of fun doing this. Yeah. And yeah, that's where I began. Look at that community. So where are you from? Where was school? Was it California? Somewhere else? Yes, Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta. Well, that's where she's Atlanta. now. Not Atlanta. Clayton County. <laughs> Specifically, it's <laughs> south of Atlanta, okay? Yes. But um, it was a performing arts high school called Emmy Stillwell School of the Arts. Ooh, anybody? Anybody? I know y'all out there. Somebody? <laughs> you in the back? Somebody. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had the best theater teacher in the oh. world. She was so good to me. And oh. she, I feel like she really is part of the reason why I'm doing this Yay. today still. That's kind of like... Um, what it takes universe to raise a star is about is that we're all stars yeah and together we make up the universe so she's one of your stars your yeah. teacher that helped you along the way yes. awesome. so she's in atlanta now so it's yeah. a treasure we got her here in los angeles um after high school how what was your journey of like okay how am i gonna do this get reps how am i gonna start auditioning like what was your journey from okay awesome thesis short film to where you are now on the on the come up like what was that span like <laughs> so it was really interesting <laughs> it was really interesting um i graduated high school and i started just auditioning through backstage well, and uh, y'all start actors access yeah, backstage literally but this was before i knew about actors access so i was on backstage that's the that's the beginning actor okay. that's the beginning actor okay yeah. and there was another one uh another site called love to act i don't even think it's i've never heard of it I, yeah i don't even think it's like a site anymore but <laughs> literally l-u-v-2 the number two <laughs> <laughs> and I would audition on there. Um, I booked my first two short films off Yay. of but yeah, off of backstage and love to act. Okay, love to act. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> and it was it was cool. And then I started noticing that um, I would get a lot of a lot of little kind of weird auditions. So. Um, <laughs> I did this one audition for this guy. I don't remember his name. I'm not going to call him out. Right. Like, we don't do that here. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But he had like a whole room full of actors and he was just making us improv. And he was like, you, you're going to be in the, you're going to be in my movie. Blase, blase. Never heard back from him. Never. But he would always set up these auditions and I would meet actors there and I would see them somewhere else and I'd be like, you remember that audition? What happened? And they were like, yeah, I don't think he actually like, makes... It. 
<laughs> so that's a lesson, y'all. Be careful. Yeah. Um, backstage, yeah, no, we love backstage, we love but backstage, there's but a lot of uh, people who aren't serious mm -hmm. on there. Yeah. So just be very mindful. Look up their IMDb. See if they have a website. Yes. Prior projects. Yes. Check the YouTube. Do your research. Do, Do your, your research. research. And just be honest. Do you love that script? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Are you connecting? Um, but yeah. Actors Access is the, the come up. Actors <laughs> Access is the come up. Okay? <laughs> so that's the that's a legit one. So definitely Actors Access, theatrically casting networks, commercial. Yes. Okay, so we put love to act aside. We're doing Actors Access. We got some films. Yes. So how was your next step? Your personal experience with like agents? Um. So I literally went on the SAG website. Oh. And I resources. Yeah. And I saw the list of agents that were certified in my area in Atlanta. And I just submitted to all of them. I said, here's my reel, here's my headshot, Close here's my resume. In. And um one of them hit me back. Ooh. Out of how many you think? Out of it had to be like twelve. Yeah. One of them hit me back and he was like, Hey, um, we're interested in signing you. We like your reel, we like your work. And I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm hell available. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so um, I signed in, it had to be in 2020. In 2020, mm. I signed. I was with him for, or I still am with him, but I had been <laughs> that with was him. Bad. No, no, I'm, still with, him. I'm <laughs> still with him. But um, I had been with him for about a year um, when the audition for On The Come Up came around. Did the audition, um, and before that, I had booked a, I had booked something off of Actors Access, which was a feature, an independent feature. See, Actually. and it that one, and it was like my first time leading an independent Ooh. feature or leading a feature. So I was like, thank God for that. Right to get, get that experience. Yeah, and Super. then um, six months went by after I did the audition for On the Come Up. They reached out. To my agent, hey, we want to get a reading with you and Sana, the director, and I was like, a directional debut. What? You know, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, you said this at a uh, previous uh, was it reception that I met her at? How long was it from you sending the tape to that? Yeah. Because I just want to remind actors out there that's not quick. Six months. Six months and counting. What? Six <sighs> months. Okay. But the production had undergone. They got a new director. They got new producers. So they recast. And fa thank you, God. <laughs> Faithfully, they Those went back. Friends. They went back, looked at all the auditions, and they said, you. And look at that. So yeah. You guys truly, you know, that saying, it's, I, sometimes I'm tired of hearing it. You never know. You never it's know. not you sometimes. You they, the whole production was being turned upside down. Yeah. Um, so how was that? Uh, who six months later? Like, oh, you so then you read with her on Zoom. Yes. How was that? Um, it was really cool because she kind of she, for I don't know why. I, well, I I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But um, she advocated a lot for me as a new actress or a new actress to this world. Um, and she the she we did two readings together. The first one was like a tech reading, so she helped me set up my lighting and um, just prepared me for what to expect. And then the second reading, it was like official, and this was the one that they were sending in to producers and stuff like that. So yeah, it was really good. She was really supportive yeah. like from the very beginning. And that's nice because not a lot of people are gonna give you your first little comfortable reading they're gonna be like yeah. this is it and that's it yeah exactly i've had i've had callbacks for series regulars where no body screen is on yeah i'm reading to no one yeah so another star in your universe that's yeah fun. okay so then tell us the process of Ooh, this is huge this is a lead this is gonna be on paramount plus were you aware it was gonna be on paramount plus or they didn't tell you where it was gonna be yet um, they didn't disclose it. Okay, until, they were just like, yeah, it's important. Yeah, they it's were important. just like, yeah, we're doing okay. it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> shoot. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what was the process for Afton's timing? From when you read um, for that Zoom call back mm -hmm. to when you found out you booked it to when you were the first day on set? Okay. Like, what was that time frame? Was it pretty like, quick? 
Or no, nope. see. So <laughs> still waiting. We're still waiting. So <laughs> so after I read with her, um, they were like, okay, great. Um, uh, we'll, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs> and yeah, goodbye. <laughs> About a month passed. God, y'all. But but I got I kind of knew a little yeah. bit earlier because um, Angie Thomas, the writer of the book. She followed me on Instagram like two weeks in, and I was like, "That's kind of suspicious." Oh wait, hold up, hold up, because I'm gonna uh, scream. <laughs> uh, when is a win? When is right, a win? I was like, "Hold up," because she did not just follow me on Instagram. Right, right. So she She's followed me on of, Instagram, yeah. and then I was like, "Okay, don't hurt yourself." It's kind of yes. Yes. right. And then about two weeks later, um, I got a call from my agent, and he was like, guess what? And I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, you booked it. I screamed. I screamed, and I ran around my house, oh. and I was like, oh, ah, yes! Yes, yes, yes. So, oh, my gosh. Amazing. So from oh. that point, I believe... I talked on the phone again with Sanaa. She was just congratulating me. I said, blase. Um, and then they had already started, or they started production in pre-production. Hmm, was it? I came hmm. on board in September, but I I was like notified in like July. Just telling y'all the process. Yeah, I was notified in July. Just telling y'all the process. Yeah. Here, so book to film, but look how long that took. Yeah. For the first cell tape audition to actually be on set. So truly, yeah. don't know. Do your best. Release it, but you don't know. You don't know. It don't takes. Know. It really takes, it takes time. time. And they have been already in pre-production, like for mm-hmm. like the past two years. The past two years. So by the time I came on, they were like finalizing yeah. production. And so I came in, just kind of hung out around the office, talked to Sanaa, like kind of got her opinion of like who she wanted the character to be. And right. She gave me some tips and a little bit of, okay, this, watch this, go look at this. Right. Um, so I spent the first month of like September just pretty much prepping for the role. Um, tell us about the role. Oh, the role. Yeah. Oh, tell us about okay. How did you prep for what role? What is the role? Oh, what yeah. So the role, um, <laughs> Brie is a 16-year-old up-and-coming rapper who is... A battle rapper who takes on, who takes after her father, who was a battle rapper, right, who has right, passed. Right. Um, and her life is like a lot of hardship. Her mother was, a, or is a recovering addict, and her aunt is a gang member. Okay. Who is maybe a rap manager too? Who, who <laughs> wants to be a rap manager? Right. So um, a lot of hardship, a so, lot of yeah. very tough um, emotional preparation. Right. Um, what I did was I went, plus the rapping, plus the rapping. Right, because I remember you <laughs> saying on uh, the reception, which I felt like that would be difficult for me too, is like feeling comfortable in that anger and accessing yes. it. Because I feel as one woman, as two black women, mm-hmm. we are often taught to suppress it. Yes. Um, so then to be like, oh, I'm allowed, and it feels y- it's icky it's and weird strange. And uncomfortable. So I'm like, damn, how, yeah, how did you access that? And then the rapping also is angry. Yes. Because she's rapping from her life. So yeah. how was that? What were you doing? To- so I really, I think first, <laughs> oh, emotionally, I had to understand, okay, what does a person who is like, been through these circumstances what do I feel like how do I feel about my father right. um and I pulled a lot from the book thank god <laughs> thank Your god little textbook. Yes, I pulled a lot from the book um about who her father was to her so I created emotions I was like okay at some point I was probably resentful about the way that my father died you know he died violently and so even though I love my dad I do have this built up emotional anger because I feel like I didn't have to lose I didn't have to lose him right and then I also had this sense of abandonment because when I was younger my mom was choosing something else she chose drugs over me right and so I have this resentment toward her that feeds into my anger but I, I still love her and I still want to take care of her I might be a little bit resentful right. that I am the one taking care of everybody right but I love them Exactly. 
We can have both. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, that's both. duality. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I was watching like a lot of YouTube videos about people who had um, recovering addict mothers to mm. kind of get the experiences that they right. had. Um, YouTube University. YouTube University. <laughs> and then also um, in character journal. Journal answer. I love that. Yeah. I love that yeah. because it really it helped me to kind of like form a bond between my friendships. Uh, like create the relationship go back and have memories to look back on that mm -hmm. I created and even like being able to be on set and share that with them like oh I created this memory of us right. playing video games oh. and oh, I'm good time. <laughs> yeah. yeah and then yeah. we can all bond over that yeah. so it was really cool um it's good and then as far as the rapping that was like a whole that's a whole y'all gotta see her she goes <laughs> in y'all that takes that's everything yes that Woo. was a whole separate thing so um i had a rap coach okay. um, rap city she was awesome. really really good okay um she kind of coached me on my tone of voice because like i were lighter yeah chill casual <laughs> she coached me on that um i went and watched a lot of uh battle rap videos sure they were aggressive yeah very aggressive yeah. Very, very forward deep. the what movements up? it's like it's completely it's a different different type of art form so she coached me on body movement like okay blase blase and it also kind of affected me or as like how I decided how Brie would move because it was like okay you know what I do walk like this but right. Brie might be a little bit more right. confident and firm in stature you know exactly so um Just living in a different neighborhood than exactly <laughs> exactly yeah so um I, I would do sessions with her. I would probably meet up with her like twice a week. Mm -hmm. We would go to the studio. We Ooh. would record. Ooh, do the real thing. <laughs> yeah, we would record. Um, yeah, it was okay. like very intense. She had me battle. She had me battle people, and <laughs> it was like really like my first time I'm doing terrified. a mock battle. Ooh. I froze, and I was like, okay, okay, hold on, hold up now. And from that point on, I was like, all right, I got to write raps as Brie, and I have to rap them That's for my right. friends. Right. So I just started, hey, you want to hear me you rap? Wanna, you want to hear me <laughs> Yes, and I would freeze in front of them until like i got comfortable, comfortable doing it but that's the real journey of any i'm sure rapper too right where you're yeah. like i want to do it and then if you haven't done it you're like uh, i'm you scared know? so yeah. i feel like that's also not just you but i feel like that's a true thing anyone starting out would feel they're like damn i really gotta i was saying i was about it now i gotta be yeah, about now it now i gotta be, be about, about it, it. <laughs> okay now i have to be about it exactly <laughs> okay amazing so, so look, oh my god all that prep y'all so you had a rap coach twice a week, then rap into friends, and then you were journaling all character relationships, past yes. and present feelings, um, and then working one-on-one -on -one with their director on different exercises, so a lot of prep. Yes. Um, what did you feel that, feel, what did you already feel confident in with like your craft, yourself going into the film, and then what did you feel like, oh, I just, I definitely just learned that from mm. being on set. So you're like, yeah, I got this. Wow, I'm so glad, you know, you said theater, you booked other films. Like, you're yes. like, oh, yeah, I'm so glad I had that tool. And then what's a new tool that you're like, wow, I would only learn this on this set. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. okay. Um, I think, ooh, this is a good question. Yes, I like these questions because I'm like, you got to give yourself props. For like I earned this so yeah. I have a skill set but also like there's no perfection especially in art or any craft right we're always mm -hmm. learning so still having humility to be like I learned today but I also know I earned it yes so, yeah. I think I felt confident as the lead because I had booked the um, an independent feature like a couple of months before right. that and I was like okay I can do it I can I did it already I can do it <laughs> But, um, I, everything else, everything else <laughs> was new. I was like, hold up. Okay. Oh, wow. This is, <laughs> this is testing me. me. Okay. This is stretching me because, um, I was really coming from theater. I didn't know it, but I was still really big. 
mm-hmm. on camera. Mm-hmm. I was really like, yeah, film. You have to be still. You have to be more like you can be grounded in theater, but with film, it's internal. It's all yeah, that was everything like, reads. Yeah. That was the main thing I learned. And to take this emotion, you want to be all rah, 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 internalize it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> internalize it, okay? Oh Stop. God. You don't have to act. That was the note that Sanaya kept giving me. Mm. Don't act. I'm actually reading a book right now called Don't Act. Oh, okay. okay. Let me book. put you on. Let me put you on. Yeah, d- tell us, sidebar, what books helped you along the way that like come to your mind where like the journey either self-help or mm-hmm. acting like whatever if you're like dang that was that affected me um okay i have a few I have Ooh. the four agreements that's Ooh. that was one of the self-help books that really changed my life Ooh. um and just made me move completely different in the world it really changed my okay, life I gotta read that. That, it's really good um Right now, I'm actually reading uh, The Power of an Actor. Yeah, I have, I have a few actor books over there. She's like, I got all these. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I, do, I do have the audition, Michael Shurtleff. Shirt, is that what mm-hmm. he's saying? I'm not, yeah. um, but I haven't finished it yet. Okay. Um, but I did start reading it. I was like, this is, um, this is good. Juicy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was reading um, the Michael Caine book. I've heard. I haven't gotten it, I think. It's good. I love okay. the way it's written. It's kind of like he's in a classroom and he's uh-huh. like, it's written like you're sitting in his in classroom. classroom. Oh, cool. Okay. So it was really cool. Um, and then, oh yeah, the the one that's called, I think it's called Don't Act or something like that. Yeah, that's what's not. You said it's not. Yes, funny. and it's so good. It's so good because I feel like sometimes as an actor. When the camera is placed on you and you're like feeling the pressure and you're the lead and every scene you're in yeah. and like you can um not be in the moment sometimes because you're thinking about everything else and it causes you to overact even though like some people might watch it and be like oh that was good but you for but, you but yeah, you yeah. know and people who are like really experienced the they're gonna know they know they're gonna know they know they're i've been called i've been called out in some classes where i could like i don't want to say just you have days some days where i yeah. could like get away with giving a decent read and some teachers yeah. are like that's dope but then there's this one teacher she's like you're playing the emotion can yes you, can you actually feel it for me I'm like oh yeah yeah you're acting how can you read me so well (laughs) yes or even when you are feeling something and you have to and you play it up you accidentally play it up so it's like i'm angry you you start i gotta show it yeah yeah Yeah, yeah, and it's like no so that's what that book is basically saying you don't have to do anything in here but be in the moment right and everything you want to happen will happen so yeah. I'm gonna find those books. I'm gonna put it in the description. Yeah, I'll send you the exact title because I don't know if it's called Don't Act, but it's we'll find it. like that. I'm, I'm gonna put it here somewhere. We're yes. gonna, gonna find the book. We're gonna put it here. Okay, amazing. So you felt confident because you were already a lead in that short film to coming in and everything else. Yeah. You learned. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And so, movie gets made. Cut. Last day on set. What happens after that? Because um, I've never personally experienced like promo uh, for film publicity. Was that your first time experiencing that yes. too? And like, what's that like? What's the time frame of that? Like last day on set to then like, wow, we're here promoting this. Like, wow. So it was a long time. It was. <gasps> we it just keep waiting. Yeah, if it just... shot in December, I did ADR okay. in um, in like March. Cause that's when they were still like cutting the film together when I was doing ADR. Woo, child. Um, and then it premiered in September. We didn't start promoting it until the beginning of September. Wow. So if that whole period was like, is this movie? When is this movie gonna? This ain't ever happening. Jesus, <laughs> I need this movie to come out. I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it until it premiered. And I was like, I just, I want to see what I did. <laughs> Please, it's been years. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That is insane. Oh so, my gosh. So um, the promotion process, first they sent just a bunch of clips to say, hey, this movie's coming mm-hmm. out. 
Um, gratefully, the film premiered at TIFF. Nice. So um, that was a different experience because Toronto we, International Film Festival. Yes. So, for those who don't know. So we got to actually um, go to Toronto. We didn't get to sit through any films, unfortunately. Right, just ours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, okay, bye. <laughs> right, okay. But throughout, so the first day um, was the screening, or was it, the, I think the first day was just a free day. The second day mm -hmm. was the screening. Um, so we got to get all dressed up, hair and makeup, and then go walk the red carpet. Ah! People, hey, ah! little red <laughs> How is that? Oh my gosh. I, I was so scared. <laughs> I feel like people think it's oh so glamorous, gosh. but whenever I see videos, I'm like, I feel like they're being abused. So like, because they, they all need a picture of you looking directly in their lens. Yes, so I was like, shaking. Oh. I was like, okay, look confident. Smile. <laughs> what would we do? Right. <laughs> I was shaking. They were, over here, over here, over here. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Then from there, we walked up to the back of the red carpet where people were doing interviews, just asking, you know, basic questions. How was it like working with Sonoma? Oh, the man, right. blah, 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 blah. Um, Then we went, sat in the auditorium, watched the film, um, and did a Q&A. Okay. And then the next couple of days, or like the next, how long was out there? Like a week. The next three days after that, um, press. So. <laughs> Long stop. You, yeah, you're going from building to building, and they're asking you interview questions, like, each one is about, like, 10, 15 minutes, and you right. go to the next building for, like, the whole day. Oh, man, was that when I met you? That was one of those days? Uh, no. Or you had a chill? Okay. Ooh. No, I had a break. I okay. had a little break. I was but, like, oh, um, Yeah, it was, like, back to back to back. And then the last day, um, you actually sat in a hotel room, and the interviewers came in and out. Hey, blase, 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 blase. And um, post COVID, most things are Zoom now. So mm -hmm. after TIFF, we did some more um, press, which I was able to do from home. They Oops. just, yeah, they just did hair and makeup, and I got my laptop out. I was on Zoom, probably from like 11 a.m. to like 6 p.m. Just blah, 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 switching interviewers out, coming in, asking questions. Oh wow! Um, and then after that, we probably did three more screenings of the film mm -hmm. um i'm trying to think back we did two here two in atlanta and then because it was shot in atlanta yeah and then um yeah that's when i met you at the one we did here yeah yeah wow look at that small world yes. only two and i was in there yes oh, baby. i also forgot to mention one thing i wanted to mention is you said only 200 people auditioned, or did I make that up? I don't know how many people auditioned. Or maybe some awesome. But yeah, I think they there were 200 self-tapes, and yeah. they went and looked back at them. They went and looked back at them. Well, back, 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 back. <laughs> <laughs> One out of 200, look at that. Yeah, wow, okay, crazy. okay. So, random fun question. Oh, we'll do a couple. If you were like, on a TV show right now, you know, need to watch your college life, teenage life. Who would you want to play your parents? My parents? Ah! Okay. Um, <laughs> I want Regina Hall. Oh, I love her. I want her because I just she's know so that she's going to be a really, really good time. Right. Let me see. I got to find people that make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I also... I said this in a previous uh, interview, I, I, now I feel like uh, ethnic diversity is in now for mm -hmm. acting, um, but it was not even a few years ago. No. And when I took a class, they told us to make a family tree of our parents and siblings and my, both my parents are from Jamaica, but my mom's like Irish, Scottish, so she, white lady, mm -hmm. um, and my dad is black and Chinese. And so I chose a white female as my mm -hmm. mom and a black guy actor as my dad, like Tom Reed from like Sister Sister. Mm -hmm. um, and when I turned it in, the teacher's like, you can't have that lady as your mom. What? I was like, but my mom is Irish, sir. <laughs> she, no one will believe that's your mom. I was like, that's what mixed race kids are, sir. 
So this was years ago. I've been in LA for 10 years. This was like when I first started acting class and I, that was the last day I took of that acting class. Yeah. Um, but now like, so he basically said I had to find an actress that essentially looked like me, who was already like light skin and curly hair. I was like, sure, maybe some people's moms look like yeah, that, but, that's but not other people's moms works. don't look like that. <laughs> Sir. So yeah, so whatever your mom and dad can look like, whatever. Wow, that's so crazy. crazy. And uh, maybe Regina married and was like, I'm honestly gay. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. And then she chose, she chose, um, who did she choose? She chose Viola. <laughs> Viola Davis is always, yes, she that's chose our mom. Viola. Of course, we could have a whole conversation about Viola. Okay. Um, I'm trying things out. I'm trying things out. I want to okay. see, like, speed round. Okay, so different, I want to say different genres. And what's like the first movie that comes to your mind? Okay. Rom com. <laughs> what? When Harry Met Sally. Okay. 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 Is it bad that I've never fully watched it? Really? It's I've really, always seen clips. It's good. I've eaten in the restaurant that she does the. Oh, she's having yeah. a scene. I'll do that. Okay. Comedy. Just comedy. Ooh. Yeah, is that a comedy? It's funny. Get out. Get out. It's, kind of <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little it's a get out. comedy. It's, it's kind get of out funny. thriller. <laughs> yeah, get out is a lot of genres. Okay. It's a, it's a mix. It's a mix. Can I say everything everywhere all at once? No. That, I love that. If that does not win Oscar yeah. for best original, like original everything. screenplay, everything. I'm going to be upset. Everything. I'm going to be hot. That movie was so good. That it's, movie was so good. I am not trying <laughs> to like shit on other movies that are out. I have the AMC A-lister pass, so mm -hmm. I see three movies a week, 12 movies a month. I see them all. Yeah. There's not really any right now that are like, wow. You know, moving me. Every yeah. I was like, everything all was. I was like, I didn't want to blink because yeah. I was like, I'm gonna miss something. This is so good. Literally, literally. Oscars, you better don't literally, play with us. Literally, 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 literally. With us. Okay, yes, it's so good. Action. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Um, Transformers. <laughs> I, don't I don't like action movies. <laughs> me neither. Great editing. Kudos yeah. to you guys. It just typically doesn't have a good storyline. Yeah, I'm it very like. Yeah. Doesn't. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So now that you said get out with thriller horror. Oh man. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's on a national TV show. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Okay. This right now. This is her horror film. <laughs> horror. <gasps> the Green Room. What's that? I Am I asleep? Do y'all know what yes. this is? Listen, it's A24. Oh, say e less. A24, say less. Go say on less. HBO. Add that to your list. <laughs> so, uh, flowers, 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 flowers. Dang. So good. So good. Dang. Okay. Dang. I just feel like I failed. Not A24. That's like, have you seen Close? I haven't seen that. No. It's one of those two that are just good. It's a French film. So it debuted at Cannes. So that's why maybe people haven't seen Ooh. it. Because, you know, you have to read subtitles. Okay. But it's two younger male leads. Maybe they're like 12. And gosh, I have seen the tr the preview it's for good. this. I've seen the preview for this because we were just saying it right where people sometimes play the motion and you're like, that's too much. All right, I don't believe yeah. it. It was grounded subtlety. Th that shit was internal. Mm -hmm. The little small talk they're talking about versus what they're really thinking. Mm. Supportive foreign film. Oh, See close. I saw the trailer for that. That's good, y'all. It, it came out recently. It's out now. Okay, I saw the trailer for that when I went to see The Whale. Ooh. Oscars. Ooh. Brandon, please, Brandon please, Fraser. Please, Oscars. Please, we need, he needs Brandon all needs, the awards. He needs all the awards. All the this awards. This did him dirty. He ate that up. He no, ate no, that no. up. Literally, not, this is definitely to the characters wrong. But yeah, he literally, he, <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. No, we're, we're, she's, yeah. We were just like he did cool, a, he did a great job, a phenomenal job. Yeah. So yes, it takes a universe to raise a star. It's basically my modern twist on the African proverb: it takes a village to raise a child. So all of us are stars in the universe. So 
who's, I don't want to say a small star, but who is someone that helped you just like a little gesture that maybe they're like, they helped you, maybe they didn't think anything of it, but it did help you. And then a big gesture that you're like, yeah, without this star, without this person, without this gesture, I want to be here where I am today. Mm. Like things like that. Um, so, um, so small gesture, big gesture, or it doesn't even have to be gesture, something like, oh, I have it. So, uh, my small gesture was when I was in the seventh grade, I had a course teacher and he was like, you need to go to this performing arts school. You need to, and he recommended me and that's how I ended up going. And that's how I ended up doing theater. Like for real, for real. Look at this bro. Teachers. Another. Oh. Yeah. Good teachers changing Great lives. Teachers. Y'all need to be paid more. Seriously, give I'm them upset. give them more money. Like, like, ugh. And then I have two two big two ones. And the one of them is my theater teacher in high school who encouraged me and made me such a better actress. Oh. Like, really, like she really she brought that love for acting that we needed, and she made it so enjoyable for me. Good. Yeah. And then, um, of course, Sana because she did not have to do any of the stuff she did. She could have just went with a name who they knew had the experience, who they knew had been working on sets. But she really put me on, and she really taught me a lot. Still, right. to this day. To this day. So yeah, um, no, those are those are gems. But yeah, like she's saying, that's valid. Where you can do your job, and they're just like. We want to go with a name or we want to go yeah. with a social media person versus like because Sana has a name that she was able to be like nah I want the yeah. craft I want the yeah. actual character yeah <laughs> so no that's amazing so yes look at that many stars so you guys check out her film on Paramount Plus Hey actors, if you enjoyed this interview with Jamila, had any aha moments, you learned anything, you definitely want to check out Kirby's video. 